Fran Martinez is a farmer on a mission, trying to work the land against difficult odds. We do not have more than 15 or 20 centimetres of soil in a desert, a steppe desert that in winter is very cold. These are some of the most difficult conditions for agriculture in the entire world. What you can do in other locations you cannot do here. Instead, Martinez and other farmers in the area are using a new approach in order to maximize yield from what is a harsh environment. This includes mixing crops to improve the health of the soil. They call it polycropping. We have transformed an agricultural farm into a forest. The only difference is to change crops. The olive trees for the pines and in between, instead of having other types of bushes, we have our peppers, our courgettes, our aubergines. Basically the same ecosystem, the same biodiversity and fertile soil as a forest. It's a unique way of addressing a massive regional difficulty. The main problem we have, practically throughout the Mediterranean Sea, is the loss of fertile soil. The proliferation of certain crops in certain plantations causes the soil to be completely bare and exposed to the rain which is increasingly torrential. To overcome this, once harvesting has been completed, farmers lay down a green cover of vegetation to protect the soil from extreme temperatures. These include Mediterranean herbs, cereal crops, strips of turf and legumes. Not only do they ensure that the bare soil is not exposed to the elements, they also restore nitrogen to the soil, which can encourage healthy plant growth, and all without pesticides. The project is helped by the Amsterdam-based Commonland Foundation, who call it organic regenerative cultivation. And healthy food is produced by healthy landscapes, with healthy agriculture. And that healthy food at the end will, you know, help to heal people, healthy people. The farmers receive no direct subsidies. Instead, they will rely on future profits from their produce, including tomatoes, almonds, wine, honey and olive oils. Working with Mother Nature seems to be paying off. Catherine Stansel, Al Jazeera.